like a sword girls want to be trying to do a do you get yourself project now that really hurt <laughs> oh my God. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda. And if you're back, thank you for coming back. Today I'm doing something kind of fun. Um, I was gonna do this anyway, so I figured why not just film it while I'm doing it. So, as you can see, or may not know at all, but I have a new wall behind me. I did not actually build a new wall, but I painted a gray wall into a, like, teal-ish green color and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So it's the accent wall in the dining room-ish space um, in my house. So I didn't like the artwork that was on it previously. I thought it clashed and just kind of like didn't fit the vibe. I thought the painting was cold versus this kind of feels like a warmer space now, cozy. Um, so I decided that I was going to put a basket wall behind me and if you don't know what a basket wall is it's basically when you take these wicker chargers so they're basically like plates to put underneath like a plate or that's what most of these are so they're wicker baskets that you just kind of hang on your wall in a kind of like flowy pattern um, and it adds a lot of character to a home I had three baskets on a separate wall and then more in my bedroom, but I decided to combine all of them and then create a big montage behind me. Um, I'm not sure Nick's gonna like this, but we're gonna do it anyways. Um, so I'm going to show you how it is that I'm going to plan the basket wall and um, which ones I'm choosing and stuff like that. Anyway, so I'll just walk you through the whole process and then we'll see the final result at the end. Okay. Let's go. So to start off, I'm just laying out all my baskets on my dining room table and I'm going to start kind of making a design with the different sizes and the different patterns to finally come to something that I feel feels full and flows well and yeah. So this one's my absolute favorite. All of these baskets are thrifted. The most expensive one was this one, it was $4.99 and I'm not even going to use that on the wall because the pink is just too bright for the mood. Um, and I'm not going to use this, although I did thrift these too. Um, I kind of want to stay with the circular pattern. So these are the ones I have. This is like a smaller version of that one. These are basically identical. It's kind of the same pattern. This one is more... <clears throat> excuse me, an actual basket. This one, this one, and they all cost me around $1.99 and somewhere two for two bucks. So a very good deal. So I'm going to start sorting them and then we're going to start hanging them. So let's go. All right. So this is my biggest basket and I don't think I want it completely centered. So I'm going to start with this one. It's my favorite and I'm going to want that. This one's my favorite, so I'm gonna want that to be the focal point. So I'm gonna stop talking for a little bit and just kind of go with the flow. Okay, so I'm not really a kind of measuring <laughs> type of girl. Like, I kind of just like to wing it. And that usually equals making a few extra holes in the wall, but my dad would kill me. <laughs> but that's just how I need to do things. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to start making holes in the wall, kind of figure out where my center is and center is on the wall and then where center is on this and then just start putting one at a time and then going from there so I might try and back the camera up so that you get a better shot of the entire wall 
while I do this. So let's do that. See, I go through these like, I'm gonna bail <laughs> moments and that's okay. That's part of the creative process. You get scared. And then you do it anyways, and it ends up beautiful, as always. I'm trying to convince myself right now, if you can't tell. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. So let me get my camera angle right, and then we'll get started. Okay, so it's gonna be an awkward angle, but I need to show you somehow. So I'm going to, I already found one hole in the wall um, from the previous painting that I think kind of looks centered, so I'm just gonna start with that one because it's already there. So it's no damage done. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a trusty hammer. <laughs> I'm like a sword girl's wannabe trying to do a do-it-yourself project. Ow, that really hurt. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Go with it. So I did it. I'm like, <laughs> oh God, <that's> so cool. <laughs> so basically, I did not go at all according to plan. I going to do a comparison of what my layout was compared to what it ended up being on the wall. But I am super with the way, whoops, super with the way, super happy with the way it turned out. Um, I think that it has a really nice flow and all the different tones and where they are on the wall, I think is absolutely perfect. So I am super, super happy. I think I did a good job. And it ended up being a very easy task or project. Um, I've seen other people on YouTube like draw out the circles um, like the sizes of the different baskets onto like parchment paper or whatever, wrapping paper, and then sticking those onto the wall to kind of get a feel. But that seemed very tedious and um, I like doing things as you can see. So I hope that you like the way this turned out. I'm going to kind of do an overview um, shot of this, but I hope you like the way it turned out. Um, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you would like to see more do-it-yourself projects. I do do these kinds of things quite often, so if it's something you like, then let me know down below and let me know what you think about the new wall color. I am pretty happy. It's different. I've never had a accent wall ever in my life, so... 
I'm pretty excited and I really hope Nick likes his surprise. So that's it for now. If you aren't already subscribed, please subscribe. I have a really fun video coming up next, which is um, thrift finds for summer. And I have some really fun, colorful pieces, which is um, different than you've seen on my channel so far. I'm kind of a neutral girl, but I have lots of fun colors for the summer and I can't wait to show you the pieces. They're all laying out back there. I am ready to film. So, so that's it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you uh, on the next video. Bye! <laughs>